what's up it's your girl makeup by sunrise welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here hey what's up make sure you click that red button down below to subscribe so you know what's going on with me always also turn on those post notification bells so you know every time that i post a reel a video or just chatting with you guys in the community post today i wanted to recreate one of my old looks uh it popped up in my snapchat memories the other day so this is what it is let's see let me just blow it up a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Right here. It's a very colorful look. Like all down to the lip. You know, the waterline, everything. So that's what I'm going to try to recreate today. Um, I believe I created this look back in 2020 when we first went into the lockdown. So I just want to see like how much my makeup skills have improved since then. Um... So I'm very excited to see how this comes out. I'm going to be using just one single palette. This was a collaboration palette um, with makeup by Yo Plain and Makeup by Yolanda and Beats by Deb. It practically has the same colors that I used in the photo. Um, I didn't have this palette back then, but this is the color range we're going to be using today. So um, let's get started. First things first, grab a white concealer. doesn't matter what brand you use. You want to apply smaller than a dime size amount of concealer to each eyelid and then use a felt tip eyeshadow brush that has a soft tip kind of like um, a paint brush and you want to blend out the concealer on your eyelid. You want to make sure that the consistency is not too wet and not too dry. Um, as you can see it's going to give this blown out powdery effect on the eyelid which sets us up for all the bright colors that we're going to use. So next up, I'm going to dip right into the palette. I'm going to use this fluffy brush to apply yellow. That's the first color that we're going to use. Um, when you see me start to apply it at first, I use a small circular motion, but then I just continuously pat on the color until I get the vibrancy that I want from the yellow. Following up to the yellow eyeshadow we just applied, I'm going to go into the palette and now use a fuchsia eyeshadow. This will create a contrast between the two colors and I'm going to apply this directly to my crease. Pick up a smaller blending brush to fuse the fuchsia along with the yellow. You want to go along the edges of the fuchsia and make sure it's blendable onto the yellow. You want to also be mindful that it doesn't come out too muddy so don't blend all the way out but blend enough so that everything is smooth. Okay, so I know you guys are probably like, whoa girl, you didn't jump ahead and left us, but I went and did my left eye off camera because I just wanted to get a little, you know, pre-start, make sure it looks okay, looks good. So now I'm going to show you guys how to do everything on the right side. I'm going to go through it step by step. 
laying down the concealer, doing the actual cut crease, and applying the color to make sure that it's still vibrant. All right, so now that we're up close and personal, let's get into this. I'm gonna try to make this as easy as possible by trying to explain it the best way I can. So here we go. Back with the white concealer and the same brush that we used to apply the white concealer in the first place. I'm gonna take a little bit, very little, little bit, very light, and place it at the center of my eyelid and work my way up very slowly with the pace and along with how much concealer that I'm applying. Now, be mindful of the shape that I'm creating. First, I'm making a motion going upward and then I make one to the right and one to the left and widen that part on the very, very bottom part of my eyelid. Once I get it to an area where I see it's enough, I look up and then I close my eyes. I look up again and then I close my eye. This is to create a marker on my eyelid for where exactly my cut crease is going to be. Uh, I also just want to mention this to you guys. I do have hooded eyes and that's something where um, the upper part of my eyelid flaps over to the bottom part where my eyes are open. So this is why I use this technique to create my cut crease. Um, this way that when my eyes are open and closed, you can still see uh, the colors that I applied on my eyelid. Now moving forward, I'm going to fill in that space where I created the marker by looking upward. And now I'm going to drag little by little, pat, 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 drag, 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 pat, pat, pat. I have this little small hand technique that I use to move the concealer around without having to apply more than what I already have on my eyelid. So this helps me create a shape, but also be able to not mess up the rest of the eyeshadow that I already have applied on my face. We don't want to start the process all over again, so you want to be very patient and you know, gentle with your eyes when you're doing this process. So um, I'm just creating like this triangle, small triangle shape at the end of my eyelid. Um, I didn't want to do a cut crease that went all the way out like a wing. I just wanted to cre create a cut crease that was basically the shape of my eyelid, which is kind of like an almond diamond kind of shape. So I just made sure it went all the way from the inner corner all the way to the outer corner. But I did start with the middle first and went to the outer corner because it's easier for me just to create the shape and have balance. And then you would see me move on to the inner corner, which I'm getting ready to do right now. Um, I'm actually dragging the top of the concealer over towards the inner corner of my eye. And there we go, making the shape. So it's kind of like a tracing method that I do with the concealer. I create the shape with a trace and then I fill it out. So now I'm gonna add more concealer because we're going into the inner part of my eye and the parts of the concealer that we used before, I dragged out to the outer corner. So we're cleaning up, cleaning up, cleaning up, making sure that it's not patchy as well because that's another thing with a trick, working with um, white concealer or any concealer at that. Um, specifically what I've noticed in my years of doing makeup, working with white concealer can be very difficult. Um, so like I said, you have to have patience and be very gentle um, with this matter because it can become very patchy and sometimes some areas of where you place a concealer may be still wet while the other parts are dry. So by the time you're ready to apply your eyeshadow, um, the colors don't stick on the way like how you would want it to. So I hope that makes sense.
So here you see me like pausing to check myself in the mirror in the handheld um, compact that I have as well as the mirror that I have off to my right hand side just to make sure that I'm seeing the same thing with my eyes open and closed um, to make sure that the cut crease itself I can see it with my eyes open because sometimes when you when I do the cut crease sometimes it's lower than where I had the marker so I'm just you know going over some things with myself I can be sort of say like a perfectionist sometimes when it comes to things like this because I actually wanted to be symmetrical and match the other side of my eye so you know don't mind me but that's just my method of madness in other words So now I'm showing you the three colors that I'm going to use. It's that deep purple color on the outer corner, the same yellow that we used in the beginning on the inner corner of my eye, and straight down the middle, I'm gonna use that bright orange. While off camera, I went ahead and did the rest of my face. Also, I added a white eyeliner to my waterline. So now I'm gonna add some blue underneath my waterline um, where my bottom lashes are at, just to make the waterline pop, just like the photo.
Now, for the final eyeshadow that we're gonna add to the eyes is this sparkly green color that we're gonna place right at the tear duct area at the very, very inner corner of the eye. So right where the yellow meets kind of the blue, we're gonna pop that green right in there. It reminds me so much of Tinkerbell. It has this iridescent um, brightness to it. And I just really think that it sets off the entire look. So I just placed that right there. Coincidentally enough, uh, my eyes did tear a little bit. So um, it smudged a little, little part of the yellow, but it was nothing that I couldn't handle. So, you know, I just went ahead and touched that up and then we were good to go. Um, I also touched up the white eyeliner on my waterline, added mascara and lashes. Last but not least, for the lips, I used this purple lip liner from NYX, and then I went in with a lip gloss, which is a fuchsia color lip gloss. I believe I got this from out of Walgreens or Dwayne Reed. Right now, I can't remember the brand of the lip gloss. I'll have it listed down below in the description box. I basically just put that on, and that pretty much was it. Basic lip liner, lip gloss. But then, as I was looking in the mirror, I'm like, mm, I want to add one more thing so I went ahead and I picked up the NYX Cosmetics lip gloss in marshmallow now this color is very different it's not a like a usual lip gloss color that you would always see I would describe it as a frosty lilac purplish color and I put that right on top of the fuchsia and I just feel like it gave it like this bubblegum like frosty lip and that was it my girl that was it tell me what you guys think did i nail it did i do i still got it has there been some improvements tell me what you guys think i would love to know and tell me if you want to see me do more recreations more colorful looks like this um, this is something that I always used to do, so I'm kind of feeling this. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I really enjoyed your company. If you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Share this video with your family and friends. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. See you guys next time. Bye. 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 Bye.